Hi, my name is Joseph Wu from Stanford University. I'm here at the 2019 BCVS meeting in Boston. Next to my left is uh, Dr. James Hudson from Brisbane, Australia. We just finished a session on cardiac organoids and how that can be used to help improve a drug discovery process. Uh, James, I gave an outstanding talk on the whole procedure. And so James, let me just start up by asking you, uh, can you give us a um, overview of what you discuss uh, during the presentation? Yes, yeah, sure. So in our lab, we've uh, created a miniaturized platform so that we can industrialize the production of the organoids. And um, part of the reason for doing that is that we can make these miniature human heart tissues where we can measure the function and the biology and screen for new therapeutics for people. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the basic concept mm -hmm. of what we're trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. So you can now create a human heart tissue. So explain how, how you do the whole process, how this human heart tissue came about for the patient uh, using this uh, IPS cell process. Yeah. So we can take a patient biopsy and create IPS cells, just mm -hmm. as many labs do around the world, including your mm -hmm. own. We then differentiate those cells into a cardiac cell population. Mm -hmm. And in our tissues, it's very important that we not only have the cardiomyocytes, but also the other cell types, like mm -hmm. the fibroblasts, the endothelial cells, um, and they really enhance the function of mm -hmm. the tissues and make them more like the heart. Mm -hmm. um, and so by using that population and putting it into this uh, special device we've created, which we call a heart dyno, um, we can create these tissues without having to handle the tissues, uh, measure their contractility, um, and get the functional output. Mm -hmm. And then can you give us a uh, sense in terms of the difference between the cardiac organoids uh, versus the engineered heart tissues? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, essentially uh -huh. our organoids are uh -huh. engineered heart tissues. Uh -huh. um, part of the reason why we called them organoids uh -huh. was because uh, the definition of organoid is um, sort of threefold, uh -huh. um, which was originally published by uh, Noblich uh -huh. in Science. And it's a um, multicellular tissue comprising um, multiple cell types for your uh -huh. tissue of origin that self-assemble into the structure and have functionality. So we had all those properties and we decided to call them organoids. And the main reason was actually because a lot of people kept asking me where the scaffold was. Uh -huh. And instead of having to explain it every time, I, I just thought it'd be simpler to call I them organoids. I, I got it. So the <laughs> organoids uh, came from the iPS cell that differentiated these different cell lineage. The iPS cell came from the patient. So the organoids reflect the genetics of the patients. So tell us how these organoids can then be used to accelerate uh, drug discovery that will benefit our uh, patients with heart disease. So um, by creating these organoids from patients, what we can do is we can essentially do um, clinical trials in a dish where we can test um, the efficacy of different compounds or drugs we have. Um, in the presentation I gave today, what we did was we actually screened for new molecules that could activate cardiac regeneration. So you took the organoids from patients, you screened for medications, these medications can then be used for cardiac regeneration so that the idea is that when the patient gets a heart attack in the future uh, and um, much of the heart muscles are wiped out, you should be able to use some of these medications that you've already tested on the organoids to show that you work and give it to the patient. Yes, that's the, that's mm -hmm. the, that's the idea of our pipeline. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the ones we've found so far, uh, one of the important aspects was if you just screen these in 2D cardiomyocytes mm -hmm. for proliferation and regeneration, mm -hmm. you can see that response. But a lot of the compounds we found mm -hmm. actually had detrimental impacts mm -hmm. to the function. Mm -hmm. And so what we were able to do was get rid of those early in this drug discovery process mm -hmm. and accelerate the whole thing um, mm -hmm. so that potentially patients can get these medications um, more quickly in the future. What about this, uh, there's a lot of talk about precision medicine or personalized mm -hmm. medicine. Do you think it's uh, possible in the future that I have some kind of heart disease, 
you take my blood, generate my iPS cell, differentiate my o- cardiac organoids, you test what kind of medication works for me, and then you tell me what's going on in a real personalized mm-hmm. precision medicine. Are you guys working on that, and how long would that take to be able to get to that step? <laughs> to yeah. get to that step, well, yeah. I think making the organoids is about a four-week process for mm-hmm. us, So, and we can very quickly screen um, many different compounds so Mm -hmm. that that aspect of it um is definitely doable in the in the foreseeable future actually the bottleneck for us is more the derivation characterization quality control of ips cells um and you know the the technologies in that space are rapidly advancing and i think you know probably not too far down the track Mm -hmm. that's going to be a a real possibility Uh and what are some exciting stuff that you guys will be working on in the next uh, one to two years yeah Uh yeah so we've got some really interesting projects around um the interaction with endothelial cells Uh in the tissues and um we've identified pathways Uh um that that are mediating this interaction Uh and it's you know the end of the concept is the endothelial cells yeah. sort of supply the um, the nutrients yeah. and the oxygen for the heart muscle to work, but we're actually finding that um, they're doing a lot more than that, and they're doing a lot of signaling to the myocytes yeah. and preparing um, preparing that micro environment yeah. to help them function. And so I think this is a really uh, exciting aspect of some of our work. Um, and you know we've got other aspects where we're trying to model um, diabetic cardiomyopathy yeah. in the tissues. And also with collaborators um, looking at uh, a variety of different, yeah. um, you know, personalized medicine applications yeah. where, yeah. you know, people with cardiomyopathy have yeah. mutations and we're modeling those. Diseases. So we've got yeah. a bunch of different projects. So the diabetic cardiomyopathy would also be very relevant to our cardiovascular disease patients because, mm-hmm. as you know, many of our patients also have diabetes. Mm-hmm. And I think in the past it's just been impossible for us to biopsy patients' heart. Mm-hmm. and study patient's heart uh, because it's such an invasive procedure. Mm-hmm. Now with your technique, you should be able to p- make patient's uh, heart muscles using this cardiac organoids and mm-hmm. then T-cell, what is the interaction between your cardiomyocyte and your yeah. endothelial cells with and without some of the diabetic medications that the patients are taking. Yeah, is that exa- correct? Yeah, uh-huh. exactly. Uh-huh. And you know, the other advantage is we can precisely uh-huh. control the metabolic uh-huh. conditions uh-huh. without all the other uh-huh. confounding effects that uh-huh. those patients might have uh-huh. as well, right? Um, so we can specifically, you yeah. know, study the effects of high glucose or insulin sensitivity uh-huh. and these sort of things in our organoids and hope to get a better control of that situation so that we can really understand what's going on within the heart muscle. Good. Well, I'm very grateful, James, that we have a very uh, innovative scientists like you working on very important issues that are relevant to our uh, cardiovascular disease uh, patients. And uh, thank you so much for coming uh, to the uh, BCBS Boston. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jerry. Thank Thank you. you. Thanks for the (laughs) invite. Yes. (laughs)